Islamic Socialism. The original tenets of Islamic Socialism are generally credited to Abu Zar, one of the companions of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. In his time, Abu Zar spoke out against the accumulation of wealth by the rich and pushed for the equal distribution of money. Islamic Socialism in its modern form came about as a reaction to criticism from Muslims towards socialists as being atheists. The principles of sharing land and other resources were deemed contrary to individual rights written in the Islamic holy book, the Quran. Socialists, however, argued that one of the five pillars of Islam, zakat or charity, and other teachings coincided with socialist ideals. These beliefs were merged most notably by Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. He wrote his detailed theories on Islamic socialism in the Green Book. President Hosni Mubarak of Egypt also practices forms of Islamic socialism started by his predecessors in the 1960s. Critics of Gaddafi and Mubarak, however, say their respective governments are abused by the leaders in order to create systems more closely related to a dictatorship. Though officially banned in Egypt, the Muslim Brotherhood also espouses Islamic socialism and is one of the more powerful political entities in the country. Present in numerous Arabic nations, the Brotherhood has stated it intends to oust Mubarak and institute a true form of Islamic socialism.